Oh my gosh! We just walked in on Foxberry doing some solo woohoo in his bed. Welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. So last episode, we just got Flame Berry. We saved our grandmother's life and we also aged up into a teen. This episode, I wanna get into some teen drama. I wanna start some fights. I wanna make some enemies. I wanna be the most mischievous little lad you've ever seen. I feel like Foxberry is the perfect candidate to get in some mischief. He made a lot of enemies last episode when he was just a kid. I think he was just acting out. He has this like sense of humor that I don't think most people like where he'll tease and make fun of people and stuff like that. And it's pretty grating to some people. So I think that's probably why he made so many enemies as a kid. It's why he struggled with friendships. Hi, Chewy. I'm really excited to get started. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live. I saw a fuzz in the, in the air and I tried to catch it. I think I did catch it, but now it's gone. Okay, let's hop into the video. It's New Year's Eve for our beloved family. We got our new sweet baby angel, Flame Berry. Oh, we just ate the crap out of that dish. Okay, we gotta refill that bowl, baby. Flame Berry, just a sweet little angel. Oh, and oh my gosh, my grandmother would like me to attend the romance festival with her. Are you trying to set me up, grandma? The way I'm coming. I don't know. Maybe we can fight some people at the romance festival. Or maybe he'll fall in love with like a little childhood sweetheart. I see him more like finding someone in college or even maybe after. We'll just see who he's into. Oh my God, he's super farty. Why is he uncomfortable? Scanning the area from being an introvert. He likes to sit and observe surroundings before getting comfortable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's an introvert, that is so cute. I do wanna change his like romantic preferences. So I do wanna change his preferred sex to both. Boom. Let's celebrate our recent birthday with our grandma. Be like, oh, I'm uncomfortable being here. Oh my God, Whitney, who is this Whitney girl? A literal girl just came, whoa, what is happening? So this random teen girl just came up to him and threw soccer flowers onto him. And then he found her super attractive. You should do a little funny introduction to her. Go, go talk to her. He says, wow, what a sim. Foxberry just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Whitney. Chow Hen. Apparently she's a prankster. Okay, Whitney. Maybe this could be his first girlfriend. I don't know if like this is end game, but this is fun. Oh, but he's so uncomfortable. He's like, I am introverted. Ah! Oh, he threw him like and it got all over her. See, he's so embarrassed. Oh my God. And he keeps farting. Skylar's liking it. Whoa, whoa. Did he just get a sentiment with Whitney? Glowing closer for quality time. That is super random. What is happening here? It's a funny conversation, but she's super sad. I want to check on her. Cry about Whitney. Witnessing death? No, 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 don't cry. Your curfew is about to start. If you don't go home soon, then you'll get in trouble. Oh my God, but I'm out with grandma. Oh my God, dad's gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be out past curfew. Also my curfew should be later though. I'm a teen now. He wants to become angry. <laughs> He's past curfew now, which is unfortunate for him. But you know what? It's fine. It's New Year's. He's gonna break curfew. Where is the soccer tea? Is Whitney here still? Whitney is here. She's drank some soccer tea. Rosalie Cotto says, don't tell anyone what we talked about. I wanna talk about more at school. Who's Rosalie? All these girls are showing up messaging him. Is he like the hot new thing? Is it like everybody likes a bad boy right now? Like what is happening? I did not mean like romantic. Who is flirt? Jermaine Archer is flirting with Skylar. Whitney, don't be sad. Wait, does Whitney not like us? Look, there's like a little bit of red there. Oh my God, he's hysterical. I don't think teens can die from hysterical emotions. I thought he cheered her up. He did not, but she did come to sit by him. She's got these really pretty green eyes. Oh, she's celebrating his birthday. That's nice. Oh. Oh, did he just flirt with her? Oh my God, he did. What did he do? Oh my gosh, they're flirting. What is happening with my Sims? I'm not doing any of this. Oh, wow. I wonder if they kind of would have a relationship that would be like kind of toxic for both of them. Cause it seemed like she doesn't really like him as a person. He's having like a nice conversation. Maybe have like a little New Year's Eve confetti moment with your grandmother. His uh, responsibility is going way down because he's out. His responsibility keeps going down because he is out past his curfew. You. Distress interest. Look at him. He's having a good time. He is hungry. Why don't you eat the dango from that girl, Whitney, who left 
her food here. It is breaking curfew, but it's fine. Our curfew needed to be fixed anyway. Oh, someone else sat by us. Tetsu Hashimoto. I feel like Tetsu would totally be his type with all the piercings. Fox took his first steps in his culinary journey through the city. Good job, Fox. But we're having a nice day out with the Grandma Skyler. I think this is special because like, I don't think we have had a lot of good one-on-one -on -one time with Grandma Skyler. And he's so flirty now. Oh my gosh. Who are you going to flirt with? Is Whitney still around? No, she's not here anymore. I want him to scan and see if he sees anyone, but I kind of don't think he would. He is so flirty. Oh my gosh. He was like, I just saw a really cute girl. Hormones be hitting Fox hard. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, what was I thinking? Why are you thinking about babies? Get that thought right out of your head, sir. Although maybe he's like, I would like to be a father someday. That's kind of cute. Well, it looks like uh, it's about time to go home. We definitely were out past any semblance of curfew. We did not celebrate New Year's Eve with our family, but I think we had a good time. We met Whitney, which is interesting. We can send like a, a little flirty text to Whitney. I wonder if maybe Whitney has a boyfriend or a girlfriend and was flirting with him at the festival and then he gets in fights with people at school. That sounds about right. We gotta fill this bowl. We also gotta change this. We can't change the curfew during curfew hour. I think you need to talk, like, talk to your son about that because he was out past curfew. I feel like she's gotta talk to him about it. Parenting, discipline, calmly ask not to like curfew. Be like, honey, stop breaking curfew, okay? I get that it was New Year's, but you should have, you know, told me that you were heading out with your grandmother and uh, we'll adjust the curfew. We'll talk about it, but you knew it was seven and you disobeyed, so. He was like, okay, mom. Let's have everybody do a little, make a resolution. I think his should be raise a skill, but the skill is gonna be mischief. Amethyst. Maybe make a resolution to get promoted. And Theo, oh my God, Theo, Theo's just having fun over here. Write a book? No, we'll say raise a skill. Maybe he'll raise his dancing skill to impress Amethyst. That'd be very sweet. He's going up to his bed, thinking about Whitney. So funny. He's gonna dream about her tonight. He'll dream about Whitney in bed by, by one. There's the one of everybody but her and Fox. I kind of like that one. So let's frame that. That one's cute. Got some good ones here. There we go. We got the like Christmas photos up on the wall. Look at a little flame. If your New Year's is over, let's all go to sleep, okay? We have like another day off. Then we have school. Oh, he likes fitness. Of course you do, sweetie. Indy, I want Indy to like join like sports or something. I wish he could do that. Drama club or scout? Wait, there's a drama club? I didn't know that kids could do drama club. I don't think he'd be in scouts or a drama club though. All right, Indy, you should go to bed in your little rave room. Oh, he's still kind of like contagious and got the flu, but I think he'll be recovered by school. Oh my gosh, Flame got into trouble. What's Flame up to? Oh, I forgot that we have this like little cat thing. We should probably sell that. Oh, Flameberry is just vibing. I don't know where you're going, Flame. Oh, Flame needs to go outside. Okay, well, we gotta wake up you because you gotta let Flame out. Go ask Flame to go potty. It's your pet, so you gotta go take care of Flame. Can Flame still not go outside? Can you go potty now? Ask Flame to go potty outside. Good job, Flame. Such a good foxy baby. Baby. Oh, he's giving Flame a good hug. Oh, so perfect. Oh my gosh, I love Flame so much. Oh my God, no, Flame, do not be, oh my God, Flame is playing in its own pee. I don't even care if Flame is dirty or not. We're giving Flame a bath now. This is disgusting. That is your own pee. It's a puddle of your own pee. Ooh, oh no. Violet is going through a bare face. That's my least, oh God. Great, Violet, love that for for you. So happy that you chose to go through a bear phase. Yep, I cannot believe this is Violet right now. Look at that face. Violet, okay, why don't you breeze through your homework since you're feeling confident. Slate is asleep still. It's 9 a.m. Slate is going through a phase. Oh, he's going through like a music phase. Well, that's kind of cute. Maybe we should give him an instrument. Do you want a guitar? Well, he's a child, so I don't think children can pick up guitars. So let's get him like a violin. That sounds terrible. Let's not. You know what? We'll give you a guitar when you're older, okay? When you can actually play a guitar. Indy is doing his homework. Are you doing your homework? homework. Oh my gosh. Did you just break that? Fox. Now mom has to clean and repair this. Oh my God. He's hysterical. He is having a lot of moments right now. Hygiene is rough. Okay. Go upstairs and take a shower then. And then maybe we could like, I don't know, ask that one girl on a date just to see. That could be fun. Amethyst is taking care of fixing up. She's such a can-do woman. Fixing toilets, cleaning them. Like, ugh, love her. I love that Uncle Sterling is here like chilling with the kids while they the twins while they do homework oh, someone's calling no 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 it's gonna be casey <gasps> 
<laughs> I knew it. Oh my gosh, Casey Berry just passed. Her mom just passed away. Skylar's gonna be devastated. Maybe we'll invite the girl over for family movie night instead of going on a date with her. I don't know. I just feel weird like leaving the family now. Let's invite Skylar. I mean, she does have the boys. All of the boys live in the house still with her. So it's not like she's alone alone, but oh my gosh, this got burnt in uh, the storm. And then we have all these random cubes on the ground. This is kind of suspect, but I'll take it since like money. We'll keep this back here because Indy might still want to play in it. But honestly, I think Indy would rather have like a basketball court. Let's get Indy a basketball court. I think that sounds really cute. Okay, we'll put it here. And then do we need like a whole court? Maybe we'll do a little bit of a uh, flooring. There you go. The fam is having a movie night. Not all of the fam. I feel like Fox is not going to be that interested in joining, but Violet will after she's done with her homework and the boys are going to run back outside and play some basketball together. See, there they go. Look at them. That's so sweet. I love this. And they both have like matching outfits like they're on the same basketball team right now. They're watching their movie together. Why aren't you sitting down? We need to change to set the curfew for nine. We'll say nine now. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, Dylan. Oh my God, Dylan has pimples. That's so cute. He's such a teen. He's got pimples. Oh, we should tell him about our crush. Why are we hysterical? He's such a jokester. Invite him in. Be like, hey, Dylan. Share your resolution with him. Be like, I've decided I was gonna raise some of my skills, but my skills are my joke skills. Dare him to streak. No, we're gonna claim to be a criminal mastermind. They're gonna sit in here, but they're not gonna watch the movie, apparently. Share resolution. As usual, he doesn't like it when he's mischievous to him, which is funny to me. Whisper about crush. Yeah, whisper about your crush. He's like, I ran into a girl. She was so hot. Her name was Whitney, but she was kind of mean to me. I kind of liked it. And now he's like petting and loving on Flameberry, encouraging Flameberry to be a mischievous little bean. Let's try to ask grandma how she is. Give Skylar some condolences. Maybe try to like cheer her up. Oh my gosh, we only have two more mischievous things. So lie about your career and then dare him to streak. Theo just got home from work. Oh, best boy critter. I got in a fight with someone at school about which boy critter is more powerful. I said it was an articorn, but they kept sending it was Sunator. Hey, I'm gonna say it's whatever you pick. Pick, sweetie. I think that if he's asking Amethyst, Amethyst just doesn't care. So he'd be like, it's yours, of course. It is, of course, yours. Also, she's just deeply sad right now about her mother dying. So she probably is like, oh, whatever you want, honey. I, I don't care. Oh, Mai wants to come over to hang out. Yeah, Mai, we haven't seen you in a hot minute. Come on over. Oh, we finished it. Okay, hooray. We've got to our first level of public enemy. So he wants to be disliked by four Sims. He's only disliked by three so far. He's got to become an adult and join the criminal career. So most of the stuff has got to wait, but we can be disliked by four sims. What a little chaotic bean. He's taking a nap on the little bench outside the hallway. Mom is going to go cry over her, her cat. She's feeling all of her emotions, dealing with her mom's death. Why don't you grieve with Skylar? Ooh, it's who's calling. Reed is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Yeah, if we can age you up. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, you live here? Wasn't this the land grabs house? Are you related to the land grabs? Okay, Reed. Oh my gosh, look at this little bean. Edison land grab. Oh my God, he is a land grab, but Reed is a Nakijima. So that is interesting. Let's age up Reed. Yay. Okay, this is Reed. Oh my God, I love it. Although I will say the Sims has this like iconic thing about making Sims' shoulders really narrow. So I'm gonna like modify him really, really fast. Ooh, Eduardo's his cousin, and Haiju is his sister, and Haley is his aunt. Oh, interesting. So he is kind of related to the land grabs. I don't know if it's directly. There he goes. This look is not doing it for me. Let's do kind of more of like a this kind of vibe. Now he looks like a teen boy. Reed Nakajima. Perfect. So let's go hang out with Reed. Where is Reed? Reed's upstairs. Let's go uh, monkey around with Reed. Let's go hang out. Oh my God, there's like a crying toddler. He literally runs away. He's like, I don't want it. Maybe his like thinking about babies was just a temporary thing. I wonder if there's anyone in this house we could be disliked by. No, no, I'll wait till we're at school. Oh, he's so sad. I don't like it from being a feeler. He's so like a little emotional guy. He's coming over to hang out with Reed. Like, hey buddy, I'm sad. Complain about some problems. Discuss some, yeah. Oh, him and Reed are such good buddies. Even mess with Reed, he's like, nah, I love it. Appreciate Reed, that's very sweet. Why don't you give your friend some appreciation? Oh, and this is uh, his friend's sister. So you should introduce yourself to the- Hook up? Are you kidding? Can you really hook up with your friend's sister? I, I kind of just want to see if it happens. Do a funny introduction to the friend's sister. I don't want them to hook up. I was 
was curious if it would work. It did not work. So I'm kind of glad that it didn't because Fox is a sweetie, even if he insists he's not in my brain. So I picture Fox like grew from Despicable Me. Like I want him to adopt like three girls accidentally for some like evil plan and then end up like falling in love with them and becoming like a good dad. Like that's just how I picture him going. So I don't really see him being the type that would like hook up with his best friend's sister behind his best friend's back and like being weird about it. I don't see him doing that. He's not the type. Also, I don't think he has that kind of game. He's too introverted. But I like that they're both like, it's almost like a LAN party. They're both like on the computers next to each other hanging out. I love this for him. And he's very happy. He's loving trolling these four rooms. His empathy is going way down. We love that. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what all of his like character values are. Oh yeah, his empathy and emotional control are not that great. His responsibility and manners are weirdly pretty good. So we gotta work to like maybe knock those down a peg, you know, knock it all down. Oh, curfew is about to start. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta get home before curfew. No, I want you to finish this first though. Okay, wait, it's curfew. All right, go home, go home. Wait, are you gonna go talk to a ghost? He's gonna more Dwayne. Wait, why is there like a bunch of graves over here? There's a bunch of graves over here. Is everything okay in the Sims? Vaughn land grab, Cecilia Nakajima. Dwayne Nakijima, Maria Landgrab, Miles Landgrab, Malcolm Landgrab, and Naomi Landgrab. Whoa. He's like, man, death is everywhere. All right, let's go home. You're uh, mourning some strangers at Reed's house. Maybe don't do that. The death thing is really hitting him hard. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this poor baby. It's okay, sweetie, go home. I do kind of want him to just like sneak out and get a tattoo. That, I feel like that would be super fun for him or like get a piercing, but let's have him go to sleep. He got home a, an hour after curfew, but he did head home around curfew. So I feel like he tried. Meanwhile, poor Amethyst is vibing on family movie night. Her mother died on family movie. How sad is she? She's like tears in her eyes. Theo Paris, meanwhile, oh, Always working out. Always be skill building at Theo Paris. Maybe like working out for her might make her feel better. I don't know. She likes it. It like makes her fun go up. Let's see. Working out with your husband might be good. Maybe not. She's feeling like a special connection though because she loves him so much. Ask Theo to mentor you. Hey babe, do you want to mentor me? He'd be like, yeah, babe, I'll mentor you. There you go. They have like a nice little moment together. Violet is sad because she's not in her bear costume. Violet, go to sleep, okay? It's Sunday night. You got school tomorrow. It's a school night, kids. Go to bed. Stop vibing to the music. Where's Indy? Indy's playing with his toys, cute. And Flame is asleep in Indy's room. Look how cute. Indy and Flame. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, okay, yeah. This is not helping her have emotions at all. Wait, no, yeah, now she's energized. Okay, I did get it, kind of. Take a nice little sing in the shower, go to bed. Theo's feeling very flirty. He's definitely checking his wife out as he works her out. Why don't you go take a bath? Now she's feeling flirty about her husband. So cute. And now she's uncomfortable because she's overthinking everything. Poor baby. I'm like that too. I overthink a lot too. Have a quick meal. Are we out of food in the fridge? Yes, we are. Oh gosh, okay. Why don't we cook? Something vegetarian for our darling daughter. Let's do a tofu stir fry. That sounds delicious. At midnight, she's gonna go make a tofu stir fry for the family. You know, she's a little off. So is apparently Slate. Excuse me, sir, go to bed. Maybe help your brother feed and go to bed. Why is everyone waking up? Go to sleep. She's medicated? Why are you medicated? She's combating a cold? Oh my God. All my kids are having colds on and off. Sore throat. Oh, from the weather. Okay, well, that's fine. I kind of get that. He's gonna go check on his pet. They're bond. Ending. They better be like the best of friends. We'll go to the restroom ourselves and then we're gonna ask Flame to go outside. Although I don't know Flame can go outside still. I think maybe it just Flame's too small. I love that Flame's barking at us. Like, let me outside. Let me outside, sir. Oh yeah, Flame can still not go outside. All right, pick up Flame, put Flame down here. He's taking care of Flame. He really could not be too. He really could just be like, I'm not taking care of you, but. He's doing a good job. Amethyst is having her yummy dinner that she made for the fam. Is Flame learned to go outside? Yes, Flame has learned to pee outside. Good job, Flame. Go give Flame a kiss. Good job, Flame. Flame, Flame, stop running away, please. Good job. What a good baby. Oh, you, oh, little kisses. We felt Flame's love, that's so cute. All right, let's pick up Flame and put Flame back inside. Maybe he should try to bake. Let's bake uh, some sugar cookies. I forgot that he likes to bake. He hasn't started baking yet. I feel like that'd be so cute. I should have had him bake with his like mom when he was younger, but maybe he's it's a comfort thing because he's not feeling well. He acquired the baking skill, good job. He has to master baking and charisma. Oh yeah, so we should have started this sooner. Flame is having some fun, just chilling in the bathroom. Oh, good baby. 
Monday morning, instead of doing his homework this weekend, he went to the romance festival with grandma and baked some cookies. <laughs> and they say that he's a criminal mastermind. I'm just saying. All right, why don't you eat a cookie? Eat a little cookie, my dude. There you go. Always gonna give a hug to his dog. Also, the boys are having cookies too this morning. His younger brothers. Oh uh, yeah, he's tired because of waking up to take care of that dog. So why don't we finish eating the cookie here? It's very loud down here with the boys. It's a lot of boys in one house. It's a very loud house. <laughs> Wait, even Indy was like, this is too loud. And Slate's like, whatever. I'm a cool kid. I do cool kid stuff. They all start school in about an hour. Amethyst, where are you at? She went into work for no reason. Theo's bored and he's gonna go to work. Flame is screaming for some reason and running around the kitchen. I wanna say like, he's gonna go into school and make some enemies and whoever his first enemy is, that's who is dating Whitney and is mad at him now. But I also think he should, ch he should chat with Rosalie. I wonder, does he have any feelings to Rosalie? No, I don't know. All right, everybody listen to teacher, but Fox is gonna make some enemies. Just the one though, just the one. Fox is caught being mean to someone at school. Okay, who is it, who is it, who is it, who is it? Let Tasha. Okay, Latasha. Oh, and Journey. I'm gonna say Latasha is dating Whitney and Latasha does not like us now because we were flirting with her. Oh, why don't you flirt with classmates now? I wanna see him flirt with classmates and see who he flirts with. I just love making him have some drama. Also, he finished having four people dislike him. That felt like way too easy because we didn't have to do it in person. We'll do it again though, like outside of class. Oh, oh my, no. He was flirting with Dylan at school. That, no, I can't, I can't do that. They're cousins. That's his uncle. The Sims! Why you do this? Why does the Sims always try to make incest happen? I don't want it to happen in my games. Oh my God, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Well, as soon as he's home, I'm gonna fix that. Who else are you gonna flirt with? Anyone? Flirt with someone else who isn't Dylan. I mean, I'm into the fact that he's a bisexual king, but come on, not Dylan. Oh, look at this beautiful pregnant male woman. I love that. I've been thinking about getting to know Darius Douglas better as a friend. You should go for it. Did she ever get married? Mai is married, right? Hold on. Mai is divorced, okay. But Mai has two children. And then who is the other, our other friend Genevieve? Did Genevieve ever get married? No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, Genevieve says, says stay at home mom. Genevieve has a kid, Oh. Roses are red, violets are blue, Fox is caught flirting with. Oh, two more Sims, okay. Jalissa and Jasmine, okay. That's enough, we don't need to keep flirting. He's been flirting it up. So he flirted up with Jalissa and Jasmine and he made some enemies as well. So lots of drama to be getting along with. I'm excited to like, have like a teen party and have him deal with the repercussions of his actions. <laughs> I'm at the start work in an hour. Theo just got home. Hi, Theo. Oh, he's feeling energized. Good for you, Theo. Also, are any of my brothers married or like getting people pregnant or whatever? What's going on with you guys? No spouse, no children. Cordell, what about you? No spouse, no children. Sterling, what about you? No spouse, no children. Okay. My brothers are late bloomers. I'm the family woman in the family, apparently. All the kids are home. Let's fix this relationship with Dylan because I can't, I literally cannot. They're just friends now. Oh, Violet's an A student. Good job, Violet. That sounds about right. Violet's the A student. Fox is just to see high, a high school C student and he's exhausted. So I think he should go to bed here and sleep. Violet might want to do some homework. When is their birthday? It's on Thursday. Okay, it's Monday. So they got some time. Maybe do your homework. She said, how's my favorite granddaughter? I just that you haven't ate, so I was just making sure you did. Oh, Grandma, I did eat. Thank you for checking on me. Slate's gonna go eat something now. Indy needs some fun, so I feel like Indy would go play basketball because I think he likes that. Makes him happy. Also, he's feeling really energized, so this makes sense for him. Yeah, now he's super happy and energized. He loves basketball, so cute. Love that for him. I wish The Sims would have soccer as an option, though. Hot and heavy daydreaming. Oh, about Whitney. Oh. Oh my gosh, Fox is dreaming about Whitney, okay. Oh my gosh, he's gotta ask Whitney out on a date soon. Right now though, he is not in the mood, but soon, 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 soon. We gotta fix his needs first. Indy, meanwhile, is working to become a basketball star. Slate is listening to big loud music, loud angry music in the living room with your parents. 
It's a move. How far along is Amethyst in her career? Oh, she needs to heighten her piano skill, but she is a serious musician. She's level six. So that's good. Indy is crushing it. Okay, he has not started his homework yet. Indy. Oh, Amethyst, uh, why don't you listen to some music? I love that all these kids are doing their homeworks together. Dad's hanging out, chatting with them, maybe helping some of them with their homework. I'm so excited for Violet to age up. I cannot wait to get my hands on her and give a little makeover. Oh my goodness, what is going on with Flame? Flame needs to go outside. Go ahead, go potty, Flame. Good job. Violet came outside to chat with Dad. Oh, Oh, she got in a fight with someone. Uh, Articorn. All of you guys think the Articorn is most powerful. I agree with all of my children. Let's pick up this fox before it runs away and put it back inside the house. Come here, flame. Our daughter likes fitness too. Oh my gosh, all of the children like fitness in this house. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, look at dad with the little fox baby. Even he's like a little sucker for flame. Of course he is. Is fox feeling better yet? Kind of. Okay, let's get him up. See if we can take care of his other needs really quick and then maybe, maybe we can go to the Humor and Hygiene Festival. Amethyst did good work today. Good job, Amethyst. Oh, she's super sad. Why don't you play like a nice little sad melody? You know, go play, go play some stuff on that piano. Get your piano skill up. I'm so happy to be able to learn something new. That's beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. We just walked in on Fox. Barry doing some solo woohoo in his bed. Probably thinking of Winnie. It's only natural for a teen, okay? It's only natural for a teen. We're gonna let this happen. We're not gonna speak on it any further. Meanwhile, Flame is singing the song of their people. Very Cat Barry of you, Flame. Oh, you all done, Fox? Yep, okay, it's done. Who's aging up? <gasps> Fox Barry is aging up! I mean, Flame Barry. I got their names confused. Flame aged up, yay! Hopefully now Flame can take themselves out. Still Feeling flirty, very satisfied from his solo woohoo time. A little sneezy, but he does not like his mom's badly played piano. It is past curfew, so he can't go out, but he could try to sneak out. Listen, his needs are not that bad. Ask Whitney on a date. I wanted him to like be like, hey, you wanna sneak out and go on a date? And then her to be like, yeah. He's gonna clean up his plate, but then he's gonna sneak out. Look at Flame under the table, just scavenging. Little sweet angel. Look at the tippy taps on that baby. See, Flame can now go out side on their own. Good, good. It was just a baby thing. It was the stairs. It was the stairs. I just realized. Flame, don't eat your own poo. <laughs> we're going on a date. All right, we're sneaking out. We're going on a date. I feel like he would either like dare to go to Forgotten Hollow or maybe they go to like the bluffs in Windenburg, you know, like kind of that. Yeah, the bluffs. Yeah, they go to the bluffs in Windenburg. They'd be like sneaking out, going to the ruins, hanging out, you know, making out in some bushes or something. Don't tell your girlfriend who I'm in a fight with at school. Let's socialize, let's brighten her day. Be like, hey, what's up, baby girl? It's me. I don't think that's how anyone should talk to anyone, but talk about recent birthday. We're definitely breaking curfew for sure. Compliment her appearance. Tell her how pretty she is. They're gonna go sit together on this. He's very tired. Can I cheat this a little bit? Can we get a, a sneaky little reward of instant, instant energy? I never use this. I want him to not be so tired. So he's gonna come sit with her over here, breaking his curfew. Come sit with me, Whitney. Come on, sit and talk with me. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's definitely gonna go, go to cool down in the rain. Tickle her, maybe gossip a bit, hook up with Whitney. Oh my gosh. They're gonna go sit together again. He's tickling her over here. Oh, whine about your unfair life to Whitney. Ask about her about her hobbies and skills. Be like, what are you into? It's like, my life is so unfair. All my family just doesn't understand. And she's like, uh-huh. Maybe make a little move on Whitney. Try to have your first kiss. Ooh, look at him. Putting his little arm around her. Showing off. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely gonna be a toxic relationship <laughs> because they have no friendship whatsoever. It's just pure passion here. Give her a little pickup line. Oh my God, he's sneezing. Give her your first kiss, the first kiss. Here they go. Okay, in the rain, at the bluff, sneaking out past curfew. Kissing the girl who's got a girlfriend. Never would condone this in real life. Attempted to seduce your date, offer her a story. Can we tell her like a crazy story? I wanna tell her like a weird story. He's level four of the mischief kill. Ooh, his resolution was complete. Is she gonna jump off the pool? Cause he dared her to. Be like, bet you wouldn't jump off into that pool. Maybe it backfired and she was like, I'm not gonna do it unless you do it. And so he's gonna go do it for her. Oh, maybe she's doing it too. Oh, he fell. Oh, they both fell. 
Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. They both fell. Is she gonna dive into the pool too? She's gonna watch him. He's like, all right, here I go. Swan diving for you. This is for you, Whitney. Oh, oh, that's rough. Even she was like, oh, that's rough. Oh, go kiss in the rain. Oh my gosh, Fox is having such a good little first day. So sneaky, I love it. With Whitney, oh, they're kissing in the rain. Oh, he, oh, he put his hand on her butt and then she like moved it. That was really funny. He's out past 3 a.m. with this girl. Warm up with body heat. What does that mean? I wanna know what that means. I don't think I've seen that interaction before, but they must kind of both be cold. Oh, she just jumped in. Ask her to be girlfriend. Nah, nah. She's just floating on her back. Are you okay, girl? Is she sleeping? I feel like he should just cancel if she's sleeping. No, let's try to tell her a story. Let's tell her a funny story. He's feeling super confident. Yeah, you got it, boy. You got it. She's like kind of not into his jokes, but he's gonna splash her. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, so sneaky. Ask if Whitney had woohoo. I bet he totally asked that. Why don't you go here together? He's so breaking curfew. It's 4 a.m. He's been out all night. Blow her a kiss. Oh, she liked it. Ask a risque question. 100% he would do that. And this all started at the romance festival with my grandma. Let's end this early. They had a good date though. All right, it's like 5 a.m. He needs to go home. When is he going to school? In three hours. Oh no, Fox, you're gonna be more tired. Actually, his energy's fine because we took that potion. But imagine how tired he would be if we hadn't taken that potion at school the next day. He'd just be sleeping in class. Actually, he could sleep in class. That'd be funny. He's home. You're gonna go pet our, our pet. Why is everyone awake? Everyone needs to stop being awake. What is going on here? They're getting ready for school. <gasps> That, he's out so late, they're all getting ready for school now. Why don't you work on your baking skill? Cause he's feeling romantic. Could you make some brownies? He's just in a very silly, goofy mood. There we go. They're like, I made brownies for everyone. Oh. Grab a brownie. And then he's gonna probably, yeah, he's enjoying his brownies, his breakfast. Okay, he's gonna go practice dribbling. Good for you, buddy. You're gonna go work on your fitness. He's just thinking about his date. Now he's gonna go into high school. Goodbye, have fun in high school. I love that flame just has this little like orange ball that it just carries around with and it's so cute. It's like, this is flame's ball. Flame loves his ball. <laughs> or is flame a girl? I actually have not paid attention to that. Flame is a girl. Okay, flame is a girl fox. I did not realize I did not check that. So I bet a lot of you being like, Kelsey, flame's a girl fox. Love that flame's a girl fox. So good for flame. Everybody is sick right now. What is happening? Why are all my Sims sick? I hate it. Mom, why don't you keep working on your piano skill? You're feeling inspired anyway, so that'll be good. Yes, keep working. Yes. How's Fox doing? He's sleep through the whole school. Why don't you play some games on your phone? It's so weird to have like a sim that just doesn't do anything in school. I hope he gets into college though, is my one worry. Maybe we should start listening to teacher just so that we get into school. I love that Theo, while his son is gone, is training the Fox. He's like, I know my son won't do it. So I'm gonna try to teach Fox to sit. So Fox learned to sit, that's so cute. Oh my God, why is my son enraged? From having a mood swing, of course he is. Fox is back home from school. Oh, but Slate's grades are up. He's now an A student. Good job, Slate. Oh my God, look at these. Look at these kids coming in. Look at Foxberry. Absolutely angry. I bet today at school, his crush like ignored him the whole day because she didn't want her girlfriend to find out that she spent the night with him. So he's probably super mad. I would not blame him though. He's been, you know, kind of spurned in love. So he's gonna, he's taking a cold shower. He's cooling himself off. Oh, all the kids are having brownies though. They're all having their big brother's brownies. This is so cute. <laughs> I know he made them for himself, but like he kind of made them for his siblings. Let's be real, okay? He kind of made them for his siblings. He's so annoyed. Look at his dramatic run. He's like, ugh. Even though there's brownies right here, He's like, no, I want a cookie to eat. And I'm gonna slam the freaking refrigerator door like a little punk. And then maybe you'll play fetch with Flame. Oh, Flame's like, I would like some food too. We're gonna dramatically go upstairs to fill Flame's bowl and call Flame to eat. Be like, Flame, oh, Flame's already there. Flame's like, I'm here with bells on, baby. I've been hungry since day one. And then I'm gonna let him maybe kick your dad off the machine for right now and get a little enraged run in. I think that that might be good for you. Oh my God, he's so dramatic. He's like, dad, get off. I wanna, I wanna ride. Dad, dad, 
dad, it's my turn. He's like, okay, son, I'll let you go. He's also exhausted. Why don't you train your son? Go mentor your son. I feel like you'd love that. But his fun's going up because he does like working out. Nice father-son oh, moment here. Yeah. Oh, look at Theo. He loves this. Oh, girl. Little flames of the room sleeping. He's like, where my buddy goes, I go too. How's his rage doing? Yes, we fight. We, we tackled the rage. And now he's uncomfy. Let's go take a shower because you stink. A second shower. He showered and then he showered again. Ooh, Amth is getting a promotion today at work. Oh my God, the kids as usual doing their homework all together, being such good kids. Fox, meanwhile, part of me wants him to get into the college. So I feel like he should do some homework and like really put a little bit of effort in. We're gonna try a little bit. He hates it, but he's gonna try. Oh, mom just got a promotion to a pianist. I don't think that's her like dream job. Oh, and look who's here, it's Genevieve. Why don't you go give Genevieve a big old hug? Brighten her day. There he goes. Look, it's like his siblings are kind of helping him with the homework. Why don't you celebrate your like promotion with her? Yeah, celebrate your promotion. Be like, I just got a promotion. Oh, wait a second. Is Genevieve flirting with us? You know we're just friends, right? Genevieve keeps trying to flirt with us. Stop being so sassy. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna look the other way from that interaction. Maybe that's why Genevieve hasn't worked out with all the guys Genevieve's dated because she's into girls. That's great. But uh, I'm married Genevieve, so the ship has sailed. Fox did his homework. Good job, buddy. Why don't you play with your fox? Get a little comforting hug. Such a softy. He's getting a little comforting hug from his head. So now he feels all better. That's so sweet. All right, why don't you go use the bathroom and then go get some food? He's probably gonna, yep, just get cookies again. That's why you're always hungry, my dude, because you keep just eating cookies and not actually eating a meal. He doesn't care. He's like, I just like sugar, baby. I don't want anything else. Stop trying to flirt with Genevieve. Okay, Genevieve, you need to go. Genevieve, I, I love it. I love it. You need to go. Nope. Stop I'm trying to flirt with Genevieve. Uh-uh, that's enough. Nope, I'm gonna shut this down real fast. You guys are just friends. Game is trying to make something happen. It's not happening, game, okay? I am the Sims God. Why don't you cook maybe something, some onigiri for the family? That's one of the family favorites. Fox reached charisma level four. Good job, Fox. Oh, see, I've got some acne going on a little bit. He's getting his first little breakout. You know what you should do? You should plan your outfits. Maybe get a little piercing. Which one should we get? I think I'm gonna go with the eyebrow. Ooh, okay. We're gonna put it on all of his stuff so it's always on. Okay, he's got his first little piercing. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Fox Berry, yes, check yourself out. Admire yourself in the mirror, you're like your new little eye ring. Look at him, eyebrow ring. He's taking photos, mirror selfies. He's like, you look great with that eyebrow piercing, boy. You look great, bro. Throw a party. Teens only party? Ooh, that sounds fun. I didn't know that they had that in Slice of Life. Oh, let's ask Flame to lie down. Be like, Flame, come lie down in your bed, please. Flame, come lay down. Yes, Flame's coming in to lay down. Yes, I want them both to go to bed. He's like, okay, Flame, you and me. Oh, look at Flame getting in the orange bed. I haven't seen Flame sleep in the bed yet. Oh, it's so cute. Look at these two, favorite duo. All the kids are waking up, getting getting breakfast before they head out to school. Fox is still sleeping, but Fox is Fox. Flame is going outside. Good job, Fox. Theo is off to work. Oh, I think we should wake up and get you some breakfast too before you go back to school as well. I wonder if you'll be mad coming back from high school again today. Only time will tell. Oh my God, Violet's voice in there. <laughs> Just killing me. Oh, look at Slate though, being such a good kid, washing up the dishes. All right, Amethyst, you're up. You gotta repair that. Amethyst actually loves being handy. And all the kids are going to school now. Bye everyone. Good luck at school. He's cleaning up a little bit. Don't pretend that you're being like a good kid by cleaning that, okay? Go to school. I know you're just skipping class. Why don't you actually listen to teacher this time? I want you all to listen to teacher. Ooh, tomorrow is the twins' birthday. And then our birthday is right after dad's before mom's. Oh my gosh. Wait, does that mean that mom is gonna be an elder? In nine days though. But Theo's gonna be an elder in six. Whoa, my parents are old. I probably should give them like older 
makeovers. But nah. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do this Grim Cookies. Make her look a little bit older. There we go. And then for Theo, I'm thinking for him, yeah, similar with uh, his skin details. Give him some like older kind of look. Oh, he's looking good. I wonder if we could give him maybe like a beard or something. Give him a little bit of facial hair. Ooh, okay. Okay, this looks good. Yeah, they look a little older. This is perfect. Mwah. A little touch of change. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna leave this one right here, but I'm glad we get up to extra mischief. We had our very first date as a teen. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna work out, but it was a lot of fun to have. Until then, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!